I see you are constructing a new lightsaber. What? Did you stole my lightsaber? Uh, yes, I do. <gasps> Hi, everybody. It me, Justin Hoodie, and I'm back with the other YouTube video. And this is just a toy lightsaber that I got for my birthday. So, it kind of like. So, we'll be able to talking about Darth Vader lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. I think it ran out of battery. Like, okay, Dark Fan. Go ahead. No. Anyway, let's just talk about Dark Beta Lightsaber. Now, before we might get to the conclusion, well, before we get started on the video, I did actually look on the one video that I actually like, well, not one video, the one that I actually posted just like this one. And when did you find it? I know you didn't buy. No, no, no. I know I have it somewhere. Just give me one minute. Ah, a lot, a lot of video. Let's see. Mini, mini, mini. Which one is it? No, no. Ah, there it is. It's this one. A toy dog field light syrup. How to make your own Darth Vader lighter from Eternal Jedi. Well, this one, I made like an upgrade. Now, I did I use like a, a toy lightsaber part of the brass set, and I wrap around with the tape around it, so that way it doesn't go anywhere. And how many views it? Oh, four views. So, yeah, I guess that not do any good. So, let's just talk about how you can actually build is Zaf Rapica a Darth Vader lightsaber from Return of the Jedi? You can see my like, clothes. You have like your D ring here, and you have like a D ring right here, and you got like I don't know what they call. You have like screw, the glass eye, some pen, and you have a Darth Vader shroud. Have a control, the grips. Now, it's supposed to be by seven grips instead of six, but I don't have any enough money to actually buy some of the grips. But if you don't have enough grips, you can actually go to the, to any like auto parts store. You know, like if people actually get windshield wipers and you can like ask them if they like have any Windshield wipers that they like gonna throw away because they're old and kind of like doesn't even work anymore. Yeah, so let's just get down to uh sorry, it's hot in Hawaii, believe it or not. So what you like gonna need, i put that aside, is some spray paint by silver and black. If you don't have any by by spray paint. Here my solution. You wanted to actually use some black and silver paint, but I can't even really find my silver paint. It's somewhere in my room. And some mod pot. You need some my like, super glue. You need some my like, screws. And you need my like, one, two, three, four, five, six screws. And you wanted to actually buy get the right perfect link to it, see by how they're all the same. Oh. Or you can actually use some, I don't know, some bolts or anything else. You need the key ring, and you need like um, some of the random parts of, that you put up. Like these little nails, like, you know, for the hammer, like try to hammer it down. Let's see, some super, like super good, I always say that. And some hot glue, like strong deliver glue. Oh, and a D ring, which I will even like tell you the whole point of how you get all the parts. But what you want to do, like, do is that you need like a, a cardboard tube. Like a hard cardboard too, not like a, a paper towels or anything else. Just like hard, 
by that you can actually by buying and then you have to by trying to by find a template of by Darth Vader Lysel in Return of the Jedi. You can actually I can like just type in the words on in the comments. That way you can actually search on YouTube, find the template you want, print it out. But I don't have any enough money to buy a printer. Well, I have my paper, but I don't have any ink, and it costs a lot of money, and sometimes it's very hard to actually print something on my computer to the the printer at my house, so that kind of like, uh, yeah, that kind of like hard. Oh, what is it? Yeah, you can actually try to trace it on your screen on a computer, but be careful, because People might say you might gonna worry that I might break the screams and all that type of whatnot. Um, yeah, that kind of like, yeah. So once you actually done that, and once you actually done it, you can actually try to drill. Oh, and you need like a a drill bit and some drill gun to drill holes on my right here into a cardboard. And then you can actually try to uh, send it out using some, you know, I have my sandpaper to try to send it down all of it and then put my super glue on it. That way, the nice and smooth. Oh, and you want to drill a tiny hole too. And then try to super glue it all together. That way, it won't kind of like fall apart on you. Oh, bye bye. All right. Now you're probably wondering how I actually got the detail in there and that one. But you're gonna might need some of the the three different toys. Well, some parts that you need. You need my Darth Vader lightsaber. But this is kind of more of like a Halloween costume that you can actually get. A black flex. You know, like you had to look online and kind of more, just like kind of more like in the, the holiday special. People actually hated it. Or, I don't know why. I think it's kind of more like a worse. They kind of like the the Anakin, Luke, and that way lightsaber. But, I think I kind of like this. That, of course, you can get. And, the uh, Lightsaber, to the after part of a Jedi challenge, you know, like you download the app and then you put your headset and then there's more of like a controller that you can actually to try to use. So, yeah, so you need my like three of them and you probably might need a Dremel cutter and why like you need a belt sander. I just might add my dad, you know, okay, I can my ball hit bell sander, so that way I can smooth up all the edges. So, thanks, dad. So, what I ended up doing was, like, you know, like, how I take it apart? You need the inside of the graphic lightsaber, including, by the little, like, thing. Kind of more like that. And once you actually, like, got it out, you can actually by like, try, well, you could have like, just leave it and put it aside. And then what you want, that you can actually try to take this apart. Now, this is part of Star Bear Lysel from Empire Strike Back. You can actually use that at the base of this. Yeah, very like close. They probably might use this in the Return of the Jedi because they don't have anything else for Star Bear Lightsaber, so. They just randomly just grab a glass set, paint it in the middle black, and then design whatever, and then give it to Darth Vader. And yeah, that did the whole thing. And then you wanted to actually have a D-Ring, part of the lightsaber of the Star Wars challenge. And then you'll probably get... Ah, Oh, you get like this. But if you don't want it to like take a gut from that one, or you probably want this, you can actually try to put a gut 
on the little guy that have like a real D ring. Oh, and you wanted to actually take this one too because I forgot if I did one the palm on the camera like this. Alright. Let's see, what else? Oh, and you want to need a controller because there's a lot of things that you need like a like something out from this. You need like some I have to put it on the hair. Yeah, I would do my switch it and then put it by here. There we go. Like you need like the the shroud. You need like a control box and you need a pommel. So you have to use a Dremel to cut it out. Try to take it apart slowly without smashing it. And then what are we um. After you do that, put that on the side. And then you want to take a part of the little like, lightsaber of the Star Wars Challenge. Just tug it apart, take some grip, and then just glue it on a plane. But before I like, do that, I put all of it inside. And then you probably wonder how I got the, the D ring onto here. So there's like a a key thing from what you get at Home Depot. I bought it and then I was like, trying to use a Dremel to cut it. Then I had to use uh, some of the, the Lego pieces and super glue it in place. And then I put a D ring right there before I have, like, hold on to that. And then I have, like, drill holes uh, knowing why like, where can I actually put all the screws. Oh, and you need like a metal part in the bottom here. I think it's more like a, a sticker poise. Or maybe like, I don't know. If you like actually stumble upon, or you can actually use the gems to paint it black and then super glue it on before you glue it on the plate. And then, like this part right here, I think a part of the, the sink. But well, you had to like try to like block the water that way you can actually shave your face by hand. And then you got the the key ring and then that part of it as well at the bottom. And before I actually like try to put it all together, I did spray paint it by black first and then when that dry, well I Painted black, silver, oh no, black, sorry, right? I painted the middle and the control black, black, and then I painted the, the hilt and the, the pommel, silver, using a silver spray paint, and then, what is it? Oh yeah, and then I, like, used the black paint, and I used, like, some paintbrush, to try to paint it all together. But before I might do that, I did actually by did that. I drill a hole and then I just by put screws on there. Then I put by some super glue so that way it won't like wiggle around that much. And then yeah, once I spray paint I did that. Oh and you might want to do I like, use some washers and so, like, again, like, clear, I don't know, maybe like a controller, maybe like an old Nintendo Wii. So I just, like, found some, like, random pieces that I could before I, like, glue it in place. It kind of, like, I mean, it's kind of good design, but I don't know. So, once I did all that, I hot glued the grips, I hot glued the, the control. And then I hot glued the, the pommel. And then I hot glued the little thing. And then, before I actually do that, I grab by like, some nails. Like these little guys. Let me just like, actually get them out of there before. You might want to use two of these. And then use your hammer to actually hammer it down to place. Slowly without damaging it. Okay, let's see. And then you got like the, the little here based off of that. 
you might want to put it, the keychain onto the little, I forgot what it's called, but if you go to Home Depot, you can actually like search for the key ring or a keychain or any type of D ring, including the larger one and the small one. And then I found a metal part, so I did put it on the plate. Oh yeah, and I see my screws, so I just like screw that there, then put pores in it. Then I spray painted black, ready for it to dry, and then before I glue those things second, and then this one third. So, oh yeah, and then after I glue the, the D ring and everything in it. Oh yeah, and then after I cut out some of the the controllers, I use some popsicles and some cutters or scissors or anything else. And then, yeah, and then I have my hot glue in place, super glue in place. And there you go, you have your very own dry fader lightsaber. Now, this is a more cool, exactly like, like this lightsaber. Yeah, it exactly look the same. I said I did one. Oh, and by the way, I did my screws right there. I did drill a hole by like tiny hole. Get my base off on my graphic, so yeah. This is gonna be like a long, long video for you guys to actually trying to follow along, but if you actually trying to get it right and trying to build your own lightsaber. You can do anything at possible. <laughs> and then you can actually put it on to your belt like this, or you can probably by do it like this. Am I going to by trying to, I don't know, sell it? i going to by trying to sell the thing because I don't actually hate it. I just by I build so many lightsabers, and some of it that I build made out of metal, so I just learning my process by using my a cardboard tube, metal, and then move on to the next, kind of more like baby steps, just like my dad told me, but I have to learn baby step to others, that way you can like get it right, and then you may already talk. So yeah. Which uh, I'm going to by trying to sell it, but if you actually by wanted to try to actually wanted it or anything else, you can actually meet me in person and then I'll be able to actually give it away for in Hawaii. I don't know, maybe by my, my helper or maybe by my friends or maybe by my workers at Safeway. I don't know. But this it kind of looking cool for the display or go to cosplay or anything like that. So I'm very happy how it actually turned out to be like and not like sad. I just like I'm very good about actually building like that. As I go, I right, from like a metal part to my like, lip metal part, my like, platinum one, the lip metal part. So I'm probably like, gonna keep most of it. Alright, so anyway, I think that all the time for my video today. And if you have any, like, that all the time for the video, Sorry about that, but if you like my video, please hit the thumb up and leave a comment down below on which Darth Vader hell do you like? Do you like A New Hope, Empire Strike Back, or Return of the Jedi? And then if you're new on my channel, please hit the bell icon and follow my channel to get notification for my next future video. And then yeah, if you wanted to like try to like win it or try to actually make a deal for me, just come meet me 
in person or any of my friends or any people that I know in Hawaii. So, yeah, like, I don't know, like, my parents are actually concerned, like, don't give them an address. So, that's a big, eh, that's a big no. So, yeah, I think that all the time the video that I have. So, you guys had a wonderful day, and remember, may the voice be with you.